everybody, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty darn good. I'm, I'm really excited about what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be crocheting my Christmas stockings for this year. I have been searching for weeks trying to figure out um, which kind of Christmas stocking I want um, just because, you know, it is just me and Sergio this year. Um, so we only really need two stockings. Um, and I wanted it to be something that is kind of personal to us, something that is cute. And I've been looking on Amazon, I've been looking on Walmart, on Etsy, and you know, I found some really cute ones, but they, some of them were just too expensive and I didn't wanna, wanna buy them. And then to personalize them and put our names on it was cost extra. Um, so I thought, I have the skill set to crochet my own Christmas stockings. So why don't I do that? So what I'm going to be doing today is just that. And I went to the store and I picked up a crap ton of yarn. Um, I'm going to be following this um, YouTube tutorial. Um, I will link it in the description bar below. And um, I'm, doing, I'm doing a little bit of a different color scheme. She did the white stocking base and then like a brownie kind of white uh, multicolor fur top. And um, I'm still doing the fur top, but I'm doing different colors. I'm doing the classic Christmassy red base, and then I'm doing a white faux fur yarn on the top. So, I also bought um, two new crochet hooks. I bought a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, and I also bought an 8 millimeter crochet hook. These were a lot cheaper than I thought they would be, um, which is why I bought two of them. I am one of those people that, you know, if the called for crochet hook size is not that different, um, it will probably be good enough to just use the same size, but they were only like $1.50 each, so I bought two of them um, for the different sizes of yarns. And um, I think I'm just going to cuddle in right now, put on a little time lapse, and I'm going to start I want to start watching um, Doctor Strange. I don't know why, but I've just I've just really wanted to watch Doctor Strange all day long. I know that you have to start off doing a magic loop. I also wanted to point out that the um, that the yarn and crochet hook sizes in the tutorial that I'm going to be following are a little bit different. Um, her yarn and hook sizes are a little bit bigger than mine. She calls for a an 8 millimeter hook and then a 10 millimeter hook but I have a 6.5 and an 8 um, just because that's what my yarn calls for so I think that my socket is just gonna be a tiny bit smaller than hers I don't think it's gonna make too big of a difference though so part and um, I really like it I moved to my bed because I needed to charge my phone uh, now I'm gonna start connecting it together and um, going up the leg and I think it's turning out really really well
I did not realize that upon making this pattern, I would make a sock that perfectly fits my foot. The heel's a little pointed. I Maybe I can go inside and just kind of like poke that inside so it's a little bit more round and a little less square. But, um, I'm getting pretty darn close to the length that I want. I'm thinking about doing maybe just like an inch or two more um, up up lengthwise this way uh, before I start doing the the white fluffy part. I'm really anxious to start working with this. I've never worked with a faux fur yarn like this. Um, I am getting pretty tired of crocheting. And I'm also getting a little bit of a headache and I'm also getting a lot a bit hungry. So I think I'm gonna take a couple hours of break and go get some lunch. I finished Doctor Strange. I don't think I have the emotional capacity to watch Infinity War again. Even though I've already seen it like four times and I know what happens, uh, I still don't know if I can, I, I still don't know if I can handle it. Uh, same goes with Endgame. Uh, maybe I can watch, maybe I can watch like the first Iron Man. Or, I don't really feel like watching Thor right now. Are they going to come out with a Doctor Strange 2? Because they should. the length I'm pretty happy with this length um, I tried to I tried to um, make it a little longer than I thought that it should be because I think that once I have a big bulk of the top um, white it'll make it look smaller than it actually is so I didn't want it to look too short um, I think it's really cute I do I'm pretty proud of that for making it in one day I took a break for a while Got some lunch, um, wrapped a present. Something cool about the, um, the pattern that I found that I probably wouldn't have thought to do myself is um, adding a little hook or a little um, tassel thing right here so that you can hang it on your wall. I would not have thought about doing that. Um, but now I have a little, little um, chain right here that I can hang my stocking from my wall from so that's really exciting and I went through an entire skein and it looks like a little bit more than a half of this red yarn so I'm glad that I bought four because if I use the rest of this and then an entire new one I might still need just a little bit more red thread I mean red yarn um, so I'm glad that I went with four instead of the three that I thought that I was gonna need originally and I also bought two of these which I don't know if I'm gonna need both of these but um, I'm super excited to start working with this I've never worked with a yarn like this before so um, ooh. oh goodness okay well before I make this not even worse I'm going to start um, using it and for this I'm going to be using the eight millimeter crochet hook and I'm just going to Start on that.
I am done. And here is what it looks like. I am not acting very enthusiastic because I'm really tired, but I love this faux white fur yarn. I just think it makes it look so Christmassy and Santa-y. Like, can you just imagine this hanging on my wall with some like, I don't know, stuff in it? I don't know if Sergio and I are actually gonna do like the stocking stuffer type thing this year. I just wanted to have a, a stocking to hang on the wall just to make it feel a little bit more like Christmas. But here it is, I love it. That was the video for today. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry, my fridge is on again. Um, but we're almost done. So um, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and all that jazz that YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. I will see you later. Also, look at my lovely tree. I'm so happy with my tree.